All power glory and honor to Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone for showing us this great truth. And Shalom and salutation to our brothers in the four corners helping out this truth with sincerity, long suffering, and longevity. Alright? Uh, now, recently all over the news, um, there's been a lot of disasters. Thunder, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, you know, winter storms. It's, it's, matter of fact, they had, uh, they had built a, a, a snowman, uh, north, north, near Chicago, like, a couple days ago, they built a snowman in the uh, middle of May. They mm -hmm. built, and they built a snowman, because the weather is crazy. Texas got fires, California got fires, uh, uh, mud slides, this is everything going on. Come. And this is all, you know, in the scriptures. Go ahead and read that. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 29, verse 6. It says, Thou shalt visit of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and with great noise, with storm and tempest and the flames of the fiery fire. <clears throat> right, and that's just everything that's going on with all these natural disasters going on throughout. Uh, world right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just showing the proof uh, proving the scriptures right and telling us that we in the end right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like all the our earthquakes that's happening in not just diverse places but in Iowa. Of all play Iowa that should tell you what time it is. And, and Oklahoma, they're talking about earthquakes in Oklahoma. Uh, uh, Everything has their own function. Some motherfuckers trying to build that dumbass bottom and they're trying to put the next cement. Kind of. So, like an most, most high punishing that uh, state. Mm -hmm. That's why they just they just went through the uh, hurricane. Now they're yep. going through uh, tornadoes. Yep. Now they're talking about earthquakes. Yep. They're trying to put that bottom in. Yep. They got hit with that flood. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. Right. Go ahead. Right. Uh, I'm gonna skip right over to 13. Isaiah 29 and 13. It says, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their hearts far from me. Right. So, uh, he's saying that basically, you act like you know the Lord. People say, oh, they believe in the Most High. But they can't tell you nothing about it. They can't prove it in Scripture. Mm -hmm. So they don't know. No uh, heaven, uh, Matthew 15, 7. You hypocrite. Well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This people draw at night unto me with their mouth, and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. Right. And in vain they worship me, teaching the doctrines and commandments of men. So now read, uh, go ahead and read that. Isaiah 30, 1 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, says the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Now, now when he's talking about Egypt, he's talking about America. This is a spiritual Egypt. So when he's talking about Egypt in that uh, context, he's talking about America. So read that again. They walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Right. So the strengthen itself in the strength of Pharaoh, he's always talking about the president. So he's talking about you trying to strengthen yourself as believing in what man has told you instead of what the scriptures have said. Huh. Keep going. Right. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Right. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt, which means the, uh, the shadow of the way that America is doing anything. Instead of basically what the scriptures tell you what to do. Yep. You yep. want to follow the scriptures, not man. Yeah, that's basically uh, still trying to think that uh, America is going to be saved. If you have the mindset thinking that we're going to be here for another 10 years, then you're, you're, you're in the wrong mindset because you're in the mindset of, uh, of, of Egypt. You're not in the mindset of Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh Alright? Oh, you want to get that out. Go ahead. Uh, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, you're confused. Right, he said the strength of the Pharaoh will be your shame. So you're going to be ashamed of what's going on. Like, damn, they still me the wrong way. And read what's that last one? And the trust of Egypt shall be your confusion. Right, the trust of Egypt, because everybody trusting in the American system, that's why everybody confused, don't know where to choose. Everybody like, how we know y'all telling us the truth? Because everybody's been confused with the uh, philosophy that America pushed upon us. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on, I think... Read uh, 14. 
Cam and Isaiah. Okay. Bro. Oh, uh, we got uh, Isaiah what? For, uh, who's 14? Chapter 14? Uh, no, 29, verse 14. 29, verse 14. Uh, this is Isaiah 29 and 14. It says, Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work amongst the people, even a marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Mm -hmm. Right, that's basically a precept, you know, it's going to be here from the people that the prudent and the wise, the ones that think they're wise. Uh, you know? uh. Right, so basically everybody that's in your little uh, colleges, they don't have this information, man. Right? Uh. right, and when they see the information, they like, oh, you guys don't know what you're talking about. For the most high chose the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Keep going. <laughs> Isaiah 31 and 1, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And stay on horses and trust in chariots. Say that one more time loud. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. <laughs> and stay on horses and trust in chariots. Because they are many. And the horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Neither seek the Lord. Right. And because they're so prideful within themselves. They think they can win the battle without the whole time. But they're being prideful. Now go ahead. They think they got some holy proof shit. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, you can't say anything. This is uh, Obadiah, uh, one, uh, 1 and 3. It says, The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Thou hast dwelleth in the cliffs of the rocks, whose habitation is high. Uh, they say that thou dwelleth in the cliffs of the rocks. Cliffs of the rocks means what? They're a cave dweller. Exactly. Now, who call themselves cave dwellers? That Caucasian. <laughs> Prideful in the heart. They they don't uh they don't fear anything. Exactly. Right. 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 It's, it's um, too prideful. This whole country is built on pride. You yeah. know, be pride. Be proud of being American. Mm -hmm. Fuck America, man. So that saying in his heart, who shall bring down who shall bring me down to the ground? Mm. Exactly. Ain't that the same shit that uh, Obama be saying? Yeah. Who's going to bring us down? Exactly. Right. Everybody think America uh, will never fall. Everybody right. Think it's the strongest country uh, in the world. Same shit. And that we'll never get, nothing will never happen. 9 11 proved that something happened to America. Exactly. Even though that, that, that was, was the inside, inside, inside job. job. That's right. true. What? It proves that these inside, the inside people would destroy us. Exactly. Come on. Don't thou, thou, thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Right. Because they, they think they, they think they over everybody. They soar and shit in the sky. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? Looking down on us, baby. Wow. Uh, and, and that's the symbol. That's the whole fucking American symbol. It's the Eagle. Right. Mm -hmm. And though, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars. Right. Because they, they, they think they could uh, go up and out of space and find new fucking, uh, uh, uh what is it? Air. Think they can go to go on Mars and shit. Yeah, trying to go move to Mars. Ain't none of that. They always talking about going out of space and trying to find new homes and shit like that. Ain't yeah, that like they uh they put their little uh bids on uh um, the celebrities got their bids on the moon. You know what I'm saying? That they're moving to the moon. Mm -hmm. But before you can move to the moon, they have that satellite that that satellite that's up there. That's their nest. Right. That's why the most I say when you put your nest on high, things I will bring you down, man. All right. This will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Right. They're going to bring down. Exactly. Yeah. So my brother just said, If these come to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? <clears throat> Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If Yeah, that's not right. Read that again. It says, if come to their, If these come to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Right. Would they have... Would they not have stolen till they had enough? Because they greedy as hell. Mm -hmm. And how, how did America exactly? They stole everything they own. They exactly. stole this right. land. They stole our people, us. Mm -hmm. uh, when we stole, we got stolen. They hid our heritage they, from us. Right. Huh? They stole our uh, our they stole our heritage. Huh. Huh. There you go. Thank they you. Stole they stole our heritage. heritage. Right. You know what I mean? They um. They stole everything. They stole of the inventions that we made. You know what I mean? Right. The cell phones we made. That everything that mostly. They said they made, we made it. And they took exactly. it because we was, their, uh, they owned us. 
So because we made it and we were their slaves, it was it. Right. It says, uh, if the if, if the great gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some grapes? Hell no, they ain't gonna leave no grapes. But they greedy as hell. It says, uh, how how are the things of Esau stretched out? How are his, how are his hidden things sought up? All men of uh, thy co confederacy have brought thee even to the borders. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Talking about Esau. He don't have no understanding. Right. Huh. That again? Hold on. That's why again? he did <laughs> the whole thing, brother? No, 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 just that first. <laughs> it says the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. Mm -hmm. They have ate thy bread, have laid a wound under thee. Now, who said that sounds like uh, the Indians, right? Right. And that's what they did to them? Mm -hmm. You know, Thanksgiving. That's what whole Thanksgiving is all about. They showed them how to till the land, how to do everything, and they were plotting all against them the whole uh -huh. time. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I'll tell you how sneaky they are. Uh -huh. And that's why there's no repentance in Esau because he wasn't sown repentance. See, the reason why we're out here is because the Most High put the Spirit upon us to come out. The reason why we break down scriptures is because the Spirit is upon us to break it down. The reason why we prophesy the downfall of America is because you fucking idiots don't think that America is going down. But we know better, all right? So whether you hear or forbear, that's not up to us. That's up to the Most High. All right? Y'all got something? What? Oh, hold on, you, you done? No, I, I, you want to bring something out? Go ahead. Okay, right. Jeremiah 49 and uh, 16. Thy, tel thy telfulness has deceived thee, and the pride of thy heart. O thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill, then O thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring mm. thee down from this, says uh. the Lord. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goes by it shall be astonished. <laughs> They shall hit at all the plagues thereof. Right. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring neighbor cities thereof. Right. And the five cities that was around Sodom and Gomorrah also got destroyed too. Most people think that it was just Sodom and Gomorrah. It was Sodom, Gomorrah, and three other cities surrounding it. All five cities got destroyed at once. Right. And out of all those five cities, there wasn't even ten righteous men. Just one. Uh, out of five, two big major cities, basically New York and uh, California, I should say the states of New York and California, and then little small cities like uh, New Jersey, all right? They're not that big, but they're still big, all right? All those got wiped out. Why? Because there was only one righteous man, which was Lot. The rest of them were all uh, wicked. Does not mean that they were all homosexual. A lot of them were homosexual, but they were still wicked men because the continuously of their heart was only wicked. All right, all right. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. How, 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 how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground when did it weaken the nation? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend in heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the side of the north. Keep going. Yeah. I will ascend. I will ascend above the height of the cloud. I will be like the Most High. Right, because when Esau and all this technology, he says he's the Most High. Uh -huh. He wants everybody to get the ship because he wants to be in control of everyone. He wants to beat God. That's why I teach it. Right, because he wanted to control everybody like the most high is. He's starting that in niggas' hands, uh -huh. his forehead. Uh -huh. But he's doing it on what? On the wicked end, man. Exactly. Because the most high don't want it. Well, he's doing what he knows. Well, well, he forces, but it's not really so much of a force. It's a trick, man. Because. It's a blessing to be to, to, to do the things that we do. But he put the spirit upon us to do it. So he basically forced us to do it. But 
Yes, like I said, it's a trick bag, but you also have um 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 you could you could you could be defiant, man. Right. Alright? That means he can put the spirit on point you to do it and you still like, man, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, and you'd be defiant. Like uh Jonah. Yep. Jonah, he was being defiant. But did Jonah get to do what he wanted? He still had to do the most high's will. So do we. Right. So even if I didn't, even when the Most High told me to leave my job, even if I didn't leave my job, the Most High would have made me lose that job. So I would have to leave it anyway. Right. All right. So it's better for, for me to show my faith in Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai when He says, um, "Leave your job, curse that white man out, and leave and leave that job, and don't look back." It's better for me to just do it because He commanded me to do it instead of me being defiant and He take it from me. All right. Go ahead, go ahead. Alright, this is uh, uh, over guy, I'm just gonna finish it up. This is uh, one and eight. It says, Shall I not, as I did say, the Lord even destroy the wise men out of Edom, mm -hmm. and understand and understanding out of the mouth of Esau, and, and, thy, and thy mighty men, all ye men shall be dismayed. Of this man, mm -hmm. to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Mm -hmm. By slaughter. Exactly. So they got to cut him off by slaughter. You don't give uh, no repentance to Esau. Give me the dictionary yeah. please on that. And, uh, right. The Most High does not like the white man, uh, Esau, so called white man. The Most High does not deal with him. Huh. There's a wicked man, and the Most High despises that motherfucker, man. Huh. Really. The so-called white man is you Negro's enemy, is you Latin's enemy, is you native, what they call American. But you natives, those are your enemies, man. Those are not your friends. Those are not your colleagues. Those are not your neighbors, man. Those are your enemies. Thus says the Lord. Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, those are your enemies. Uh, you got uh, prayer slaughter, or you got some more? Uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, let me get this out right here. This, I'm jumping right over to 18. It says, "And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, Con. and the house of Joseph a flame, Con. and the house of Esau for stubble." Damn straight. And they shall kindle in in them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. So who said the house of who? Esau. Now read it again. Sorry. The whole thing, brother? Yeah. It says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, so we're gonna be the fire. Mm -hmm. and the house of Joseph a flame, uh -huh. and the house of Esau for stubble. Joseph is the uh, Ephraimite. Mm -hmm. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. Right. We're gonna put the fire upon them. Uh -huh. We're gonna destroy two thirds of our people. Plus all the other For the Lord has spoken it, so the Lord said this. Right. These are from the Lord's word. So I'm tired of you talking about who wrote the Bible. The Most High. That's who wrote. Okay. Okay. Right. Second Ezra five. Uh, second Ezra five. First step. Then answered, I in, then answered, and I, slide <laughs> and, uh, then answered, I and said, what shall be the part, the parting asunder of the time, or when shall be, and when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, from Abraham, unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born. Now, Jacob is the so-called Israel, who is Israel, which is the so-called uh, Native American, uh, uh, Negro, Latin. and Latino. Go ahead. Says, of him Jacob hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that flows. Follow. That follows. Say that one more time. It says, For Esau it says For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows 
the hand of man is, is betwixt the hill and the hand. Other questions? Uh, what's this word, brother? Oh, who? Oh. Es Estrus asks, "Thou not." Basically, we just want to get out. Uh, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning that follows. Huh. So, uh, that's like, basically where we get out. Like we just ended everybody's world that was in here. They tried to ask but they but Go ahead and get that definition for Edom. Uh, this is the Compact Bible Dictionary definition of Edom. Edom figures for, 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 for memory the prophetic scriptures as the scenes of great future judgment. She great was, future judgment, which means they haven't been judged yet. She is, she is the only neighbor of the Israelites who is not given any promise of mercy. She's the only neighbor of the Israelites not given any promise of mercy because they came out of uh, Isaac just as well as we did. But they basically are is the evil twin, our evil twin. Huh. Uh, let me get this up. Uh, this is Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for the children, for the iniquities of their father, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the faces of the world. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant, and son and nephew, saith the Lord. I will also make it a possession for a bitter and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the bosom of, bosom of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts. Right, and he's going to basically he's going to destroy Esau, yep. so-called white man, yep. and he's going to punish them for the iniquities of their fathers. So a lot of, because a lot of so-called white people come up, oh, it wasn't me, but it was your father. So you got to prepare, uh, so you have to uh, get punished for what your father did, just like we did. Uh, That's why uh, we went into slavery. Because uh, of what our ancestors did, yeah. which really was us. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have understanding, we understand a little bit no, right. more. Why? Because the most I say, I'm going to punish you according to your wickedness. So the reason why we got put here into slavery is because we're the ones that went off, man. Mm -hmm. All right? We're the ones that went off. We didn't keep it 100. Why do you think niggas trying to keep it 100 now? Why? Because you couldn't keep it 100 in the fucking land. Why do you think niggas probably say keep it real? Because niggas is real. That's why. You're an Israelite. So keeping it real is built in within you. But you need you uh, just too fucking stupid to realize that, man. Right. Got something, brother? Uh, Jeremiah 51 and 1. Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind, and will say unto Babylon, Fanus, that shall fan her, and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. Yep, and let's talk, the story of when is basically like when the destruction comes, ultimately like when the nuclear missile takes this place. Mm -hmm. Right. Come on, let me, come on. Let me get this out. Hold on. Right. Let me get this out. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. All right. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Amos 7 and 17. It says, therefore, said, uh, therefore thus said the Lord, thy wife shall be in Harlem in the city, and thy son and thy daughter shall fall by the sword, mm -hmm. and thy land shall be divided by lies, and thou shalt die in a polluted land. And what he mean by polluted land is all the bloodshed that's been going on since the wars and everything. That's polluted the land. Con. You got the damn chemtrail polluting the fucking air. Con. You got the water polluting us. Con. The food. Ain't nothing fucking right Con. in this fucking place, man. All these fucking devils is killing the shit out of us, man. Slowly but surely. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The most high letting this shit happen, too. Con. All right, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me get that done. Go ahead. This is Isaiah. 14 to 26. This is the purpose that is the purpose upon the whole earth. And this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. So this is his purpose. This is the purpose of the whole world and for this for these things to be going on. Because this is his purpose. This is why he made the whole earth in the first place. For the Lord of hosts has pur has purpose and, and who shall this annual it? Yep. And and his hand is stretched out and who shall turn it back? Right. Yeah, exactly. Now, who 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 got strong enough hands, long enough hands, 
and holy enough hands to turn the Most High's hand back. His own son couldn't do it, man. How the fuck you think anybody else can? You can't. So the only thing you can do is if you're an Israelite, you need to come home. If you're an Israelite, now if you're not an Israelite, you need to find an Israelite, preferably one that still represents GMS and not one that flakes off and want to talk shit, but one that still represents GMS and still got honors to the elders, and they pay homage to, uh, and, and double honor and everything to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, not Jesus Christ, but Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, man. It, it's very simple, man. Very simple. Go ahead. This is uh African? No, no, no. We're Hebrew Israel. All right. We we come. We originated from Ur, the Chaldees, then we went into the land of Canaan, which became the land of Israel. Um, uh, that was uh, um, surnamed from our forefather Jacob. You know Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Where we come out of Jacob. Yes, and that's what we do. We bring this out every week, week in and week out. Uh, we don't have pamphlets, but uh, I got something else I could give you uh, real quick. Brother, could you go ahead and take Let me give him something real quick. All right. Uh, he's got like a little... Give that out real quick. Give that out Galatians. Galatians yeah, Galatians uh, 4 and 26. Because you asked us to be African. Africa is not the uh, motherland. No, it's not. <coughs> oh, matter of fact, you got the definition? It's in that one? That's the person? Uh, no, it's not this one. Oh, it's the other one. Oh, yeah. Brother, read that up. You can get on uh, the internet, right? Uh -huh. Go on YouTube, that thing. Go on this mm -hmm. one. And that, that one, I'm shutting down. Right? So don't even worry about that. These two follow those two. You get more information. Go ahead, bring it out. That's about it. Go ahead. Here, uh, you can YouTube and stuff. All right, I'll let you off that issue. Oh, no, right. Right. Okay. okay. Hold on, hold on. We want to get the information about the reason why we're not called Africans, all right? All right. All right? Yeah, I want you to say the name. Okay, the, um, the African name, Af the Afri Africa was named after Publius Cornelius Scipio Africantus, all right? Which means what? Those people that they call Africans are not even Africans. They're Hamites. They come from their father, Ham which means hot, burnt, hot. That's why Africa is what? Very hot. Okay. And when those Africans are what? Are they like my skin or are they darker? They're darker. Exactly. Exactly. So when you say black people are African, you're really referring to them, not referring to us. But we got surnamed that <coughs> to be a reproach. Now those Africans, uh. are, are they rich or are they poor? They're poor. That's why they surnamed us. Because they couldn't give us our real name. So they have to give us somebody else who's poor mm -hmm. and looks like us. Mm -hmm. The same thing they did with the Spanish. Right? <laughs> same thing they did with the Spanish, right? Now, the oh, Asians, yeah. you think the Asians, that's their real name? Asia? No. What? Exactly. Their real name is not. Their real name comes from uh, Lot, right? But they got the name Moab, which is the Chinese. And then the Chinese mingle to bring out the South Koreans, North Koreans, the Vietnamese, the Hmong, the Ocean, they all come the same. And then you got the Japanese, which is Ama, and they also come from Lhasa. Right? And the same person that, uh, that gave the Afrikaans his name, he has a brother, which is how the Asians got their name, the brother of Publius Cornelius Scipio Asiatica. So that's where those names Asian and, and African come from. And the name Europe comes from the word uh, Europa, which was a black goddess. Right. So, like I said, we got more information. Those uh, Roman, can you finish that off? Oh, yeah. Um, and they were, uh, which were generals and statesmen from, uh, for Rome. Yeah, right. right. So, they were Romans. In Rochester. Huh? So, y'all are in Rochester. We're in Rochester right now? Yeah. Oh, y'all have a meeting place? This right here. Oh. <laughs> you got it. Because the most high people come out on the high in the midst of Israel and in the midst of many nations. Now, how am I going to do that if I'm just in a building? I have to be trying to call people to come into the building, right? Yeah. But the Most High never said to go into the building. He said, stay away from those buildings. He said, come out on the highways and the byways, whether they hear or whether they forbear. The Spirit was upon you for you to hear. 
a lot of other people go where it left as soon as we came here and started up. And that's what happened. We bring out light and they would rather have dark.